You have someone in Wales that you're like, fuck yeah, I'm proud this guy's Welsh. Um, Isn't Christian Bale Welsh? Well, he's, uh, really I mean. well. he's born in Wales, but he's basically English. <laughs> Right. Yeah, <laughs> and like, we don't claim. <laughs> even he's gone on record saying like I don't really identify as well. Right. Yeah. Uh, Anthony Hopkins, pretty cool. Wait, that's really cool. Anthony yeah. Hopkins. Yeah. You, you cool. threw that out like it was a stinker. Bro. <laughs> yeah. I was just to think. That's Sir Anthony Hopkins. Sir you, Anthony Hopkins. You, you, you'll go, I, I was you'll... trying to think. I was trying to like rip off the top of my head like famous Welsh people. Tom Jones, I guess. Kinda. He's kind of fell off. Is Tom there. Jones Welsh. He's Welsh. Okay. I, didn't, I, didn't know. Jones. I had no yeah, idea about that. that. Don't worry about it. Yeah, uh, Gareth the Bale singer, was right? the big one for a while. Yeah, Gareth Bale was, Bye. you know, who? but you don't care about football, Who? so I care about football. No, oh, it's he's cool. like he I'm was like, football yeah, well, probably yeah, the best Welsh football player. Played for Real Madrid for a while as well. Yeah, it was very good. Um, it was very very successful. Well, Anthony Hopkins is kind of the goat. I I mean, yeah, no yeah, you got a you got a big one. I loved when Anthony Hopkins won the Oscar recently, and he just didn't want to go to LA. And he just filmed his speech in like a field in Wales. That's beautiful. Like, Thanks, man. Love Wales, though. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> I don't know. Was- yeah, because Thailand's pretty much, we've only got like Tony Jar, I think, who's mm-hmm. only like, I can't think of anyone else Thai who has gained international acclaim. Who's, who's Tony Jar? Tony Jar uh, did Ong Bak and a lot oh, of other like movie. martial arts films. Oh, okay, okay. Um, An actor? Yeah, an actor, much like a martial artist. Mm. Um, any famous What's, French? No, I'm joking. The most, <laughs> the most famous person from New Hampshire, my state, is uh, Franklin Pierce. Who's that? Who? I think he was the <laughs> the guy who killed Lincoln. <laughs> <laughs> um, he was infamous. He was a president. Oh. He was a president of these United States, uh, and he is famous for uh, causing genocide against the Native Americans. That oh. was Franklin Pierce. It's a blight on New Hampshire history. Oh. But the only guy to serve from New Hampshire, so. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take a W when oh, we can. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> most presidents from East Coast? Um uh, aren't they mostly no. from like Virginia, right? Uh, West Virginia is the most politicians, I think. I yes. think it's Ends they're mostly there. state governors, often from Texas, California, Massachusetts, oh, yeah. or Virginia, yeah. Okay. I just thought yeah, I don't know why I thought that. I'm tr- I'm I think because to... the older ones, because we only had East Coast. Right, right. Mm. What about you, Joey? Aussie pride. There's a lot of uh, Aussies. That's all, Aussies, Aussies, Aussies got it around. down. Yeah, yeah. Mel Gibson, just joking. <laughs> 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 I'm joking. Wait, is he Australian? <laughs> yeah, he's born in Australia. Oh shit. Uh, we got Russell Crowe. He's kind of. He's kinda okay. Cool. He's coming. Uh, Hemsworths. Hemsworths are good. Hemsworth. Uh, yeah. We got fucking. Um, oh my god, what's his name? The guy who played uh, uh, the Joker in Dark Knight. Heath Ledger? Heath, Heath Ledger. Ledger? No, he's, he's Australian. Australian. What? I would yeah. not be able to tell. He's, I could not nah. tell. He's super Australian. Yeah, I mean, we have quite a few I, cool people. Nah, yeah, Australia. So many good yeah. people. You got him on too. The, the so most the famous UK, person from my school who went to the same high school as me is Baz Luhrmann, the director. Oh. Oh, sh- Yeah, the guy who did Romeo and Juliet. Oh, okay. Oh, you watch uh, yeah. you watching House of Dragon? Yeah. Uh, you know the Otto Hightower? He went to my school. Like eight billion years ago? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> literally, literally when I was growing up, you, you ever watched the film uh, Nottingham Hill? Oh, yeah, yeah, of course. You know- Hugh uh, Grant? Hmm? Hugh Grant? Yeah, the Hugh Grant one. Yeah. Do you know he had the ginger roommate? That's him. And, he, oh. and so when we were growing up, they were like, well, we don't have much, you know, but uh, we have uh, Reese Evans. And yeah. He, he was in Nottingham Hill, you know. <laughs> and, uh, I was like, and now oh. they get to say House of Dragons. And now they can say House That's of Dragons. That's an upgrade. Damn. Which is a, a big upgrade. He's firing that. He's yeah, so oh, good. he's very good. He's so good. In that. that show's good, dude. It's so good. God, you gotta watch up. it. It's I, I so do. Good. I, I do gotta watch it. Have you you watched Game of Thrones, right? Yeah, I've watched Game of Thrones. I think um, so far, like season one. Are you gonna be that guy who's like, it's yes, better. it's better than Game of Thrones? Whoa, whoa, whoa! The beginning of Game of Thrones. Than, You're wrong. What? You're so. <laughs> oh, was he? Matt no, Smith no, I lied. I lied. Matt Smith is captivating in that season one. You're right. Season two is worse though. It's only just we only have two episodes. Three. Have you watched all three? No. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, season one of episode, uh, sorry, se- season, episode one of episode season two was so good. Yeah, the second one's the one that pissed me off. <laughs> we'll talk We'll talk about it after, we'll okay, spoil it after. All right, okay. What's your right. split of live action shows versus anime? Uh, I mean, live action shows is what I watch for fun. <laughs> 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 anime is what I watch for my job. That's so funny. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I've been watching Ted Lasso recently. Oh yeah. It's so fucking good. It I, is. I, I gotta watch that. Sorry. I gotta watch that. Yeah, you, you gotta watch it. I mean, no, I watched I like it because it. it's the Euros right now and I was like, oh, I feel like in, um, I'm in a football mood. I did not know that Ted Lasso started from a parody YouTube video that got posted like 10 years ago and they kept all of the actors in that original cool. YouTube oh. video as well. Yeah, it was a promo. Yeah, it was like a promo for, for an American channel mm-hmm. getting the Premier League. Yep. Uh, mm-hmm. And so the 
premise of Ted Lasso is that they hire an American, an American football coach, coach yeah. to coach a Premier League team. Mm. Um, he doesn't know what he's doing. And what, what surprised me is that it's probably... The, the best way I can describe this, and, and I, I guess I use like anime terms for this, it's like Onizuka. It's like Onizuka <laughs> yeah, yeah. becomes right, right, the yeah. coach of a Premier League team because okay. he knows nothing about football. And to be fair, throughout like the first season and a bit, he still knows nothing about football. Is but. Ted Lasso an isekai? No, it's not an isekai. <laughs> unless you count, yeah. unless you count going to the UK. American being isekai. man reborn as a British coach. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it, it's incredible how I, I think the best thing about that show is that it's incredible how endearing they were able to make Ted Lasso because mm. he's basically like, yeah, it's basically like watching Pete, like true, coach, true, coach true, a football true. team, you know, where it's like he knows nothing about football, yeah. but. I kind of want to. I kind of want him to get a W. But God man. damn, he gives the best advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It's like they give him like the full house treatment with like Danny Tanner, and it's like that classic American father. Right. Yeah. And then it's like, oh wow, they transformed Bob Saget, one of the most like horrible in terms of cursing comedians, into this family. Awesome. Have you heard old Bob Saget stand up material? No. no. Dude, he's the most crass, vile stand up. Like he'll just talk graphically about like sex and sexual positions. I, and then he became like America's father. Huh. I, I, think, I think weirdly, obviously we get a lot of American media. Stand-up comedy was the stuff that we just didn't get. Yeah. yeah. Cause we had our own stand-up that was like, yeah. I think it's, and probably in Australia it's very- And it's so different. Like, yeah, the, the, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. the stuff that they would make jokes about were so incredibly mm. British. Like when I watch British stand-up, I, I don't think it would work for Americans. I think of Ricky time. Gervais. You can't say that. Oh, okay. <laughs> I hate Ricky Every Gervais. Every time, bro. His stand-up is so bad. He just says, he says his things you can't say, Connor. Okay? Oh, <laughs> I, I like Ricky Gervais hosting the awards. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. Although I, yeah. I felt like the last one, everyone was like, wow, he's so brave. I was like, this is kind of like just watching a man have a mental breakdown. I felt like, I don't know. I, I mean, know. he's one of the better exports we've had, because I swear, True. some was like, who, who was that guy who hosted Gordon? the- Gordon, yeah. Gordon is a failure. Gordon, fucking oh, hell, he's like, he's like not even welcome back in the UK now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't, yeah, want, yeah. Him. They don't yeah. want him. We're like, no, no, no. What a fucking you dickhead. <laughs> there is there yeah. is like a betrayal if as a if you do leave. Is it the same in Australia? If they go to like America and like do American things, we're like, you don't. Yeah. You fucked. It's like, I, I think that. of uh, Gordon, Russell Brand as well yeah, Russell was, was a oh, big. Wow. Which okay. we, we don't care if our, like if British actors do American films. But for some yeah. reason, doing like a late night show is like, how dare you? <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> well, I think it's like, selling your soul because I don't think anyone believes that James Corden is specifically passionate no. about doing no. carpool karaoke. It was no. just, he just no. does it because it's successful. Like, yeah, yeah America turned on him so fast. It seemed like he was doing all right. And then it just kind of overnight, everyone was like, fuck James Corden. Yeah, now he's like the most hated person. Everyone hates right well, he didn't help himself too fast. He also yeah. had some bad stories about like, and this is like the ultimate one. Yeah. Just being bad in front of, no, like service workers. Oh, I heard that. Like treating yeah. service yeah. workers yeah. poorly. <laughs> and that's like. Big no-no. Yeah, obviously, because it's like, oh, oh, you got rich and famous, and then you turned on how you treat regular people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think, I, I think it's especially like exacerbated by the fact that he is a late night host, because I think the whole point of being a late night host is that you're you have personable. to be likable. Yeah, yeah. yeah you, you have to be personable, yeah. right? Uh, whereas if you're like an actor or something, you, mm. you can kind of there's a little bit more leeway to be a dickhead. Yeah. Uh, depending, <laughs> <laughs> depending, no, depending. I, th I think so, right? Because you're you're a bit more like mythical. Yeah, right. Because yeah. you you. You know, you, you play these characters and you don't really, you know, you're not really yourself often. Same yeah. with like musical artists, I feel like, because you're often kind of playing up this You can persona. have a huge ego. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of I mean, Christian like, Bale, famously, right? Oh, yeah. He had like but, the blow up on like, set. People, people like almost like respected him. They're like, wow, they he, do. Cares, he cares so much about the art form. Yeah, because it's like, it's his craft. It's yeah. his art. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's allowed to be a total dickhead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, uh, that was like a funny one because it was like listening to the context. I can just imagine him trying to act and a guy was walking across the set constantly. Yeah. You're like, God fucking damn it. Like, <laughs> I, like, I, I could kind of see it, but I was like, yeah. yeah, you don't need to be that much of a cunt about it, right? Yeah. You yeah. to blow up. But then I think we, I don't know. People, people kind of like a blow up sometimes. Yeah, um, I mean, people just love drama. True. Mm. We, we know that, hey, with the doc things. <laughs> Y'all talk about that? Uh, we oh, have no, I mean, the what? Oh, you got the, the doc you, disrespect. You got the, you, got the, oh. you got the big tweet out of it. That the was, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, <laughs> that was like so- like a tweet that like 200K likes. Well, it, it, something like that. It's just some tweet that unearthed. It, well, everyone knows about the doctor disrespecting. I imagine we don't have to give yes. too much context. Yeah, yeah. 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 But know. basically admitted to messaging a minor in Twitch whispers, which is insane. Why, why did he admit to that? 
Was there any benefit to admitting to it? Uh, I, I think because it was he was known, just trying like, to get over it. I, well, I think like it was factually known by the people at Twitch. Like they knew it as fact. Yeah. And so right. he can't like he can lie. But like uh, as we've learned anything from the online climate now, even if there's like literal like photo proof of you standing there with like a minor or something. Yeah, true. He yeah. could be like, I don't know who that is. People do yeah, the people, deny, yeah. deny, deny thing, and it works. I think in his mind, he, he wrote that long ass tweet that included the phrase, and "Yes, he I did talk to an individual minor," and then edited changed out. Changed it. But I think he sent that tweet, and he's like, "I'll send this. I'll come back, and everyone will forget." <laughs> That's not what happened. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. what happened. No one's forgetting that. <laughs> that tweet had like over like 200 million impressions. Yeah. 200 million? 200 million impressions. There's no recovering. Dude, wow. I mean, the most normie of normie people in my life were like, oh, I heard about this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this like, to disrespect someone. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, watching that clip when he's playing out. <laughs> Oh, watching someone's career uh, disappear yeah, yeah, from yeah. their I eyes. I was watching it and I was like, damn, <laughs> if I was acting, like if yeah. I was an actor and I was studying this, this should be <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. He, it's, he, had, it's, he had sunglasses on, and yeah. I could feel every ounce of emotion. It was going crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's basically playing Elden Ring, and then thirty minutes after that portion of stream, a tweet comes from his AAA publishing studio yeah, about how they're hair. dropping him. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and it's it's what people think. I mean, it's not confirmed it's to be like likely, the text. That's, what that's like, yeah. hey, right. we're dropping you. Right. Yeah. Just I've, seen his face, man. It the was, micro expressions, man. You bro, can, if, if I'm acting, I got to study that. <laughs> how, 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 like, it's so raw. Yeah, so raw. With the Elden Ring music Dude, in the yeah, background the, as yeah, well. It was with, literally perfect time. <laughs> yeah, like, the he ominous gets music. on the horse and just starts riding. <laughs> yeah. Sir Anthony Hopkins in Wales, like, fuck. That's, <laughs> that's good that's shit. Hard. I, was, I was thinking about it. I was like, what, what text would I have to receive to make me like, Immediately end stream. A third tower's yeah. been hit. <laughs> <laughs> Wales is like sinking. Wales is being yeah, yeah. Wales, yeah. Wales like, is what? gone. Like, cause I, I'd like to think if I had something bad that happened, I would try and play it off for like 10 minutes where I'd find a point that naturally feels like I'm gonna end it. It, it, it would be a global catastrophe. It'd be like yeah. nuclear war. Yeah. I'd, if nuclear war broke out, then you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. But like if to make me like, fully end the stream on the spot. It'd have to be like devastating. I'm sorry, yeah. you're staying live after the nuclear war one? I think I would keep going. <laughs> Cause like, what else am I gonna do? <laughs> like, may as well yeah. fucking run it. No, no, no. Like, I, like, unless my viewers went to zero, everyone else was yeah. panicking. I'd be like, well, fuck it, I may as well end. 